Today we are looking at enable features, which I would say is the most critical step in your setup. Um, you will see that I have an enable features sheet here in my workbook where I go through a large number of features um, that I have over the years as I've done different Im implementations I just keep on adding to this sheet you'll notice I've got feature descriptions here I've got discussion notes sandbox I've got a whole bunch of, of different columns here what I would normally do is I would sit for somewhere between six and let's say 10 or 12 hours with a client and we would go through every one of these lines one by one and discuss them it takes a long time quite painful to do but i think it's absolutely critical to ultimately understand netsuite right what i'm going to do in this case because it's an implementation for myself a and b I want to use this implementation to shoot all these videos and explain how it all fits together so I'm not going to go through this enable feature worksheet and decide which ones to enable what I am going to do is I'm going to enable every single feature that I have access to all right so that way I will also get maximum bang for my buck all right so to get there I'm now in NetSuite I'm going to go set up company and you will notice that this is the next setup task under com company information which is the video that was shot previously right so I'm going to click on enable features and you will see that across this line here I would say I would call this a blue ribbon right that is the main blue ribbon the main menu and this is your secondary blue ribbon You'll notice there the headings, the tabs are company, accounting, tax, transactions, items, employees. When you go to my uh, workbook and my feature sheet, you will essentially see that I have exactly that in feature group. Right, so you can see all of those. So this is actually as close as you're going to get to a mirror image of what you have in NetSuite. Now again, there are no system information tab for what you set here so that is why i propose that you note every single discussion and every single setting in this workbook so that you always have something to refer back to okay so in this case i'm not going to discuss all of this i'm literally just going to enable every single feature multiple currencies Currency exchange, yes, I agree. Worldwide support, inline editing, file cabinet, security, yes, please. I want it all. IP address rules. Good, now I'm going to save. so that was step one and I'm going back in there you don't necessarily have to save every time I just like to do it but now I won't for this next one we're in the prepayment foreign currency balancing yes accepted I agree installments tax front taxes okay Transactions, return authorization, vendor return, multiple prices, gross profit, promotion codes, speed promotion, auto apply, require deposit, automatic, I agree, fulfillment, I agree, store pickup, okay, okay, shipping label, multiple shipping routes. Do that one later. Uh, input cost to customers, billing operation, invoicing groups, credit card, soft descriptors, PayPal, electronic funds, yes please. OTH, yes please. Payment instruments. Alright, 
Canyon tree, drop share, PS, multiple windows, gift certificate. Yes, please. Merchandise, advanced item, personal, assembly, advanced building materials, building management, advanced business management, inventory status, learn this course, supplier location. Yeah. Whoops. again that is clearly why it is best to save off every page because I now lost this and I gotta redo it so there you go save all right and then I'm gonna go back in there all features I'm gonna hit tax I am gonna put the advanced taxes on go back company enable features transactions yes I want that yes I want return authorization multiple prices growth profit promotion codes yes sweet promotions as well thank you auto apply require deposit automatic location yes fulfillment yes store pickup okay Shipping label, multiple shipping, inbound, so selling invoices, credit card, debit card, PayPal, electronic, ACH, payments, save it. go back again now we're up to items and inventory right multiple vendors gift certificate yes please agree merchandise personalized assembly advanced bill right building management advanced building management inventory status landed cost supply chain employees yeah, I don't have payroll so I'm going to leave that on expense reports billing rate part weekly yes confirm time tracking for CRM global commissions alright I'm going to go back again and now we are up to CRM right again I'm just going to keep on enabling every single thing I can uh, opportunity team selling historical metrics email capture case escalation knowledge base help desk CRM templates capture email description category sales campaign partner relationship multi-partner right taking good fast progress as you can imagine this normally takes quite some time in a real environment where you only want to set up what you believe is required for your business just again I'm enabling enabling everything so that I can demo the system and make use of everything that you have that one I'm not going to use never use that supply chain predicted risks this is a new one that I want to try save that 
and I'm going to go back again and I'm going to go look at web presence, descriptive URL, component alias, web application, yes. I want that, I want that. Vendor access, yes. Partner access, advanced partner access, yes, please. Let's say save. Right, minimal features. And then the last one, sweet cloud. Yes, I want that. Yes, remove personal information. Yes, I want custom. Custom transactions, yes, please. And soap, yes. Rest, yes. Pause account specific URL, sweet sign on. Mm. Not going to use those because this is all about authentication and because it's really just my account. I'm pretty comfortable that I don't need all this stuff. I will use that even though I don't think I can use it at the moment. Right, so. I've now gone through all the enable features and I've set all of them up. Now I just need to go back and let's see if there's anything I missed. I don't think so. Uh, tax transactions. Right. These sweet apps I do want to install. Approvals look for install. Hmm. Right, you can see here it is pending, right? And so, yes, I will actually do the rest of these. bundles in the next section.